So the latest version of Photoshop has gone all in on artificial intelligence and it's got something built into it called generative fill. Now I've got a bit of a bone to pick with AI. This was one of the first pictures I tried it on. I've got loads of pictures like this on my computer that I take for doing the thumbnails for these videos. I asked it to give me thick, luxurious hair. And this is what happened. So here's a picture looking at my upstairs window. All we do is we use the lasso tool to just select an area of my neighbor's garden, click on generative fill, and we'll say, add a lion. And then it sends back three images for you to choose from that you can cycle through. So that's a bit of a cartoony looking lion. So let's see what else it's got. There's a lion lying down in the garden. I like that one. And that one's standing up. I like the middle one. So we'll go with that one. You can see, well, aside from the fact that this lion's got three tails, that they're going behind the fence. So it's kind of, it's aware of what's going on. Then I'll select his neighbor's garden over here. And I will say, add a giraffe. Oh, he's coming over the wall. I like that. Let's see what else we've got. Number two and number three. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Let's go back to number one. I think I like that the best. Ace. Uh, now let's go over here into my garden and then we'll say add a hippo. <laughs> We've just got a cheeky flying hippo. But look, if we turn this on and off, you can see that it's added the shadow. It's put in behind the stuff that's there. So it knows what the foreground is and it knows what the background is. And it's also added a shadow on the wall look. Next, I'm going to select the top of the image and I'm going to say add a volcano in the distance. And look at that, it's punched a hole through the trees and there's a volcano in the distance. Let's see what other, what other ones it's come up with. Excellent. Let's do some freestyle and just add a peacock down here. Add a sign that says a zoo. I was going to say it's terrible at letters, but <laughs> it does say zoo on that sign, but it also has a few extra O's, but we'll leave it there. But look at that, it's seen the walls in perspective and it's kind of added some perspective to the sign as well. So in seconds, we've transferred my neighborhood into a zoo. I've been playing with this all morning, so I want to show you some of the most interesting things that I've created with it. So sticking with the animal theme, here's a picture of a pond that I took at the weekend. And um, I basically asked it to put a gorilla in it. Look at that. I know it's a flipping massive gorilla, but look, there's reflections in the water. It's behind the reeds. It's got sunlight shining on it. I mean, that's, that's a really good picture. That's a really good image <laughs> of a massive gorilla. So this one blew me away. That was a half of a very tasty chocolate beer. And I asked Photoshop to add a cocktail umbrella to it. And look at that. It's shortened the glass, it's added ice, and it's added a cocktail umbrella. And there's a reflection of the cocktail umbrella, and there's a refraction of it in the glass. There's bright white reflections from the window that's behind it. To me, that just looks real. If a cocktail stick could stand straight up like that as it is, that could be a real photo. Look at it. I mean, it's even got overlaid it over the top of Tom's arm. But how cool is that? <laughs> now, this one actually amazed me. I took this picture a few weeks ago at the beach and I asked Photoshop to add in a UFO with reflections in the water. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That looks photorealistic. I mean, what's really impressed me about this is that it's got the highlight of the sun on the right hand side of the spaceship. It knows that the sun's to the right and it's shining on it. And the reflections in the water as well. It's like it's actually there. And again, it's just merged it in so perfectly. That's some proper awesome sci-fi it's just created. So this is the ancient high house in Stafford, the town where I live, and it's supposedly haunted. So <laughs> I asked Photoshop to put a ghost in the window. And Photoshop was like, hold my beer. <laughs> a very subtle ghost in the window. I then asked it to put a mermaid on the balcony because why wouldn't you? And that's what it came up with. Now this next one, this is a picture I took in Doxy Marshes, which is just down the road, a little nature reserve. And in my mind, I wanted to see an aeroplane flying in the sky with it reflecting in the water. Um, but this is what it gave us. A fighter jet just sat right there in the pond. But again, look, it's got a reflection in the water. It knows it's water. And I still think that looks pretty cool anyway. So this one was a picture that we took in Bridge North and I've asked it to replace the background with a hideous monster. <laughs> I think he's quite cool. I quite like that monster. Look at all these rows of teeth. We look pretty chill about it. Here's Donna with a metal detector on the beach and I asked it to add a massive chunk of gold sticking out the sand. And bam, just like that, there it is. There's a shadow on the sand. Again, it's reflecting sunlight. 
It actually looks like it's sitting in a hole in the sand. And again, it's merged it in so well. You can't tell where the edges are of what it's added. This next one is a picture that I took at the hot desking place in town that I use. And uh, what do you often find there? Yep, wild hippos. <laughs> I love how it's got the sun shining on its back look and it's, it's filled in some bright light on the carpet and it's casting a shadow. <laughs> it looks like it's really there. Notice how it has changed some of the furniture that's actually there. So it does recreate quite a lot of stuff and then blend that in. This next one's a picture that I took when we pulled over in Wales to have a look at the view and I asked it to make the mountains a bit more impressive. And it did. <laughs> wow, look at those. In fact, it's kept the clouds at the top look and just changed them where it's had to paint the clouds in between the new mountains. This was a picture taken at the cafe at Wittick Manor, which is a, a National Trust place, and they converted the old stables into a cafe. So I asked Photoshop to put a horse in as it was stables, and this is what we got. So you can see that it's painted out the table that was there and the chairs. It's left one of the chairs, but kind of modified it slightly. It's also put in a bit of a wooden floor that the horse is standing on, but I like how it's kind of hidden the, the horse's nose behind the stable door. So it feels like it has actually added it into the picture. I'm so, so impressed with this. Carrying on with Wittick Manor, this is a picture I took of the front of the house. If you've not been, go, it's brilliant. And I asked for a pond surrounded by geese. And look at that, isn't that incredible? So I first looked at this and I was like, how did it do the reflections in the water? But if you look, if you look at what it's created compared to what it was, it's redrawn the side of the house and it's reflected what it's drawn. So it hasn't taken the reflection of what's actually there. It's come up with the reflection and the thing it's reflecting itself. But I think if you didn't know better, that looks real again. So I wanted to ask it to write subscribe on a billboard, but text to image generators are notoriously bad at text. But I just wanted to say, if you've enjoyed this video, then would you please subscribe BC? <laughs> My channel has just hit 760 subscribers species, so I'd really appreciate it if you could help me continue to grow that number. <laughs> subscribers species. If you've got any great ideas that you'd like to try out on this, let me know in the comments as well, and the best ones, I'll do a YouTube post with the results. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and please subscribe species. <laughs>